kale has been the craze for quite some time. We all add it to our smoothies for a boost in nutrition, but have you ever added it into your salads? This superfood pairs great with bacon and eggs and elevates to a new steakhouse classic. All right, so first to get started, we're making a really quick five minute vinaigrette. So forget the bottles, you can do this super duper easy. So we're doing this in real time. I have one shallot. We're just gonna roughly chop it. We're gonna let our mini food processor, your mini blender, your vitamin nutrient extractor, whatever you have, we're gonna let it do the work. Okay, so that is our shallot. So we want about two tablespoons of chopped shallot, which gives great flavor. Then we want a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And you just wanna rough up these lemons a little bit. That way they juice nice and easy. You're not squeezing crazy, hard to death. And for whatever reason, I have some tennis elbow. So I wanna loosen those lemons a bit to make it easier while squeezing. So it takes about two lemons, depending on your lemon. Sometimes I've gotten one lemon to juice a quarter cup. Crazy, right? Some big lemons out there. Okay, and it goes to our cup. That's what I actually puree in. Now we need third cup of a good extra virgin olive oil. Do not cheat yourself here. Use a good one, one that's nice and fruity, because you're gonna get a great dressing out of it. All right, I always like to add a little sugar, sweeten it up, and a little Dijon. So what the Dijon does is it adds a little tang and it acts like an emulsifier. So it brings it together with a great texture. All right, I'm just gonna let this rip, salt and pepper, and that's it. See, how easy was that? We're gonna set it aside, and now prep the remainder of our ingredients. So here I have kale. So you don't wanna buy the kale in the bag, the reason being the kale already prepped for you. They actually add the stems in there and it is not pleasant chewing on those stems in your salad. So you wanna buy the bunch and you just rinse it with cold water and dry it really, really well. And the great thing about kale is kale grows high above the ground so it's not very sandy, but you still wanna rinse it under cold water. And so important to dry it really well. That way our dressing adheres to it. So I went ahead got all of our kale prepped and ready to go, put it in my salad spinner, made sure it's really dry. You can do this up to a few hours in advance. It stays nice and crisp. Any more than that, I wouldn't, then it starts to get limp. Now to prep the remainder of the ingredients. So I have some white butt mushrooms. My daughter, Isabella, loves mushrooms in her salad. And you know, we don't often tend to eat them raw, but they're really delicious. They're super earthy, and once we toss that dressing in with them, they're like little sponges and they grab onto that dressing, and they're so delicious. They absorb it in so good. So you just wipe them with this damp cloth. Don't submerge them, they'll get waterlogged. Pull off the stems. You can keep the stems, use them to saute with, make a vegetable stock, then we're just gonna slice them. I have some cherry tomatoes. So these are fresh out of my father-in-law's garden. He's gonna be very proud that I'm using them in this recipe today. So I went ahead earlier and I cooked some bacon. So you need four slices of bacon and I boiled, hard boiled, two eggs. I love egg in a salad. That yolk along with the vinaigrette really makes the dressing even better just makes it even creamier. All right, so now you just wanna chop it up. 
You could slice it, you could chop it. I'm gonna slice it real nice. So now it's time to assemble the salad. So we have our kale, our dressing, and it goes half of the gorgonzola. So you want some crumbled, good crumbled gorgonzola. So just about half of it. I like to save the other half to put on top. Our mushrooms, of course, we want it to grab right onto that delicious dressing. Salt and pepper. Our tomatoes. Season the tomatoes. Those tomatoes need salt. Freshly cracked black pepper. Make myself a little room because these eggs are hogging up the space. We're saving those to put on top. All right, and then just give it a toss. So now to serve it, just transfer it over. And I'm all thumbs at this point. <laughs> Two spatulas is not working. All right, look at that. That beautiful dark green. And just remember, when it comes to greens, the darker the green, the better it is for you. This is just so beautiful. My God, love it. Love, love, love. All right. Rest of the gorgonzola right on top. I have some warm toasted chopped walnuts. This is earthy, it's satisfying. This is truly a meal in itself. And come on, who doesn't love bacon? So this is all about moderation. You can sprinkle it, you can line it up, you can decorate it however you want. And then your eggs. So this makes for a great lunch, a brunch, perfect for two. If you want to have it for dinner, go for it. Just grill off a steak and then it will serve four. Now you just want to season the egg, salt and pepper, So oh, beautiful, come on. I love this, you're totally gonna love this. I have to taste it for you. So I'm going in. Mm. The bacon's still warm. You can get that earthiness from those walnuts. It's so good, and those mushrooms are just absorbed with that great flavor from the vinaigrette. This is a delicious salad that I really think you're gonna enjoy. Head over to the newspaper's website, look it up, make it this weekend. I'm Shereen McCook this. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.